After beating Uruguay and drawing with Germany, China topped the table and a point would be sufficient to take them into the knockout phase in their first ever under-17 World Cup. Ghana, who lost their opening game against the Germans but beat Uruguay, will only qualify if they win. Anything less is likely to end in elimination. Nerves are jangling here in Baku. And uh, here's Zheng Zhu. Nicely done by China, but misplaced pass by Tang Jiali. And here's Ayam, who's a, a good customer. Real chance, Okiere should have scored. And Priscilla Okiere, who scored a more difficult chance against Uruguay, should have put Ghana in front. China just under the cosh a little bit at the moment. What is developing into an entertaining match? Here's Okiere, who should have scored a moment ago. Coleman. I am Okiere. Good play this by the Ghanaians. Al Hassan. Out wide is Sumaili. There's an overlap from Ivy Colley, but she's ignored that. Al Hassan plays it into the box. And I am has hit the bar, but will put the rebound into the net. She scored for the third game running. And Ghana are up and running. The initial effort came back off the bar. It was a lovely ball in by Al Hassan. Poor defending off the crossbar. And then a simple tap in for the girl who can't stop scoring for Ghana. 18 minutes. Jane Ayam puts the Ghanaians in front. Very good football by Ghana. Sumali. Now uh, Abdul Rahman. Sumali again. This is. Excellent ball retention by Ghana and Sumali looking to get to the byline and get the cross in. Cuts it back, Okiere! Oh, it's another chance gone begging. She didn't really get hold of it. The goalkeeper made a decent save, but again, Priscilla Okiere looks to the sky and knows she should maybe have scored. Lee Jiahui gets it back, plays it forward. That's a very good ball. There's a chance here for Miao Siwen. Oh, and she's missed again. First with a header. Then with a shot, just got underneath the ball and scooped it over the crossbar. Here's uh, Miao Siwen. That's nice play by China. Is there a shove there? No, not given. And uh, the ball is brought forward. Ayam is onside. She's a very direct player. It's uh, Jane Ayam. She's got no support. Goes for the shot. The goalkeeper scrambles it away. And there was no one following up for Ghana, all on her own. No option at all other than to shoot. Forced the goalkeeper into a save. Into the Ghanaian box. They can't deal with it very well. They have done now. And suddenly, there may be a break on here. And here's uh, I am suddenly. She's got a clear run on goal. She's got a chance to finish it for Ghana. Oh, she has. Spectacular goal. And Ghana are going to the quarterfinals for the first time. And yet again, it's the little striker who's done it. A counter punch against the Chinese. And it will knock them out. Wonderful goal. Jane I am fast, direct and accurate. And that is a historic goal for Ghana. It takes them into the last eight. Just needs to put it anywhere, really. Finds Sumali, and that'll do for Ghana. Mere seconds remaining now. Another glance at the watch from Jana Adamkova. Ghana are through into the quarterfinals after a dramatic victory, which is greeted with elation from the West African nation. They've all gone across to celebrate with Jane Ayam, who got both goals. The first to tap in to put them ahead after 18 minutes, and then a joyous second, two minutes from time, when she ran through and finished coolly. And Ghana will take their place in the quarterfinals for the first time in their history. And they will be carrying the flag for their nation into the quarterfinals. A sensational win leaves China out and Ghana through. China nil, Ghana two.